Hello and welcome everyone to Tech Weekly, your weekly dose of news relating to tech, data science and AI from Bode Infinity. Are you added to some WhatsApp groups that you don't want to be part of? Well, Mr. Zuckerberg has got you covered. In the latest WhatsApp update, users can now exit group without notifying anyone. Well, the process is still the same, just that the exit notification won't be coming in the chat. I wonder how many Gen Z kids are going to leave their family WhatsApp groups now. Following the typical fashion of being a late bloomer, Apple iPhones and AirPods are finally getting USB-C in 2023 as per the reports leaked by Ming Chi Kuo. The primary factor behind Apple switching from Lightning to USB-C will be the European Union legislation. Well, as per the new legislation, the common charger legislation, smartphone and their accessories are required to have mandatorily USB-C, a common charging platform by 2024. Japanese investment giant SoftBank has reported a 21.6 billion dollar quarterly loss on its Vision Fund, one of the highest in history. SoftBank has relied heavily on the public offerings of its private company in order to raise money, but given the market downfall in this quarter, companies are finding it hard to raise the IPO money. In an interesting turn of events, Google has started a new publicity campaign to pressure Apple into adopting RCS, a cross-platform messaging protocol that is meant to be successor of aging SMS and MMS standard. The search giant has a new get the message website that lays out familiar set of arguments for Apple to comply with it. SpaceX and South Korea are working together to launch a payload directly to the moon. It is South Korea's first mission to the moon and SpaceX's first direct launch to the moon. The payload is South Korea's Pathfinder lunar orbiter. It will be operating 60 miles above the surface of the moon for at least one year. Google has apologized for a software update issue that caused a major international outage on Tuesday, August 9th. A spokesperson from the company said that the team has worked upon quickly to address the fault and the services were back in normal. Users from all over the world reported that the outages for Google services including Maps, Search and Gmail The outages affected at least 1338 servers from 40 countries. That's it for this week guys. See you guys in the next one. Until then, keep learning, keep accelerating and as always, make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button.